Hi, I'm Rob Levy from Remax Excellence. Today we're going to talk about a question that I get asked all the time from sellers. What are the small things I can do to prepare my house for sale? In Townsville right now, there are thousands of houses for sale. In fact, in Kerwin alone, there are 259 houses on the market. So how do you set your house apart from those and make sure you get a sale quickly? Because as we know, in general, the faster you sell, the better the price you're going to get. I always suggest to my sellers that you fix up the little things. Here's my theory behind that. People get very excited when they buy a house. They like to take a picture of themselves in front of the sold sign. They like to post that on Facebook. In fact, one of my recent buyers got more than 450 likes on his post just by taking a picture in front of the house that he'd just bought. So as soon as you buy a house, what happens? All your friends say, oh my God, when can I come over and see it? When's the housewarming party? Well, that really influences how people think about these houses on the market. And if you make it as easy as possible for them to hold that housewarming party, your house is going to sell for a lot more. Here's what I mean. We fix up the little things so that when people come to that housewarming party, they're not going, oh man, you got a great deal, but you're going to do something about that. I don't want anyone thinking that. I want it move in and housewarming party ready. And here are the main things that I discuss with my sellers. First of all, the paint. The better the paint, the easier it is to sell a house. So probably in 25% of cases, we do a full interior paint of the house. But most of the time, a few small touch-ups will make a massive difference in how much people like the house and ultimately how quickly you sell and what your sale price is. Something that most people don't think about is silicon. So behind your kitchen sink, there's a strip of silicon also around the basin of your shower and up between the tiles. That silicon can sometimes get a bit moldy and grotty. The best thing to do is to get a professional to scrape it out and then re-silicon it. It doesn't cost a lot of money. I have a full-time handyman that works for me and fixes up my houses. And as we know, bathrooms and kitchens are one of the most important things that buyers look at when buying a house, if that silicon is beautifully beaded, clean and fresh, it makes it much easier for them to walk right in and to be able to have guests over who want to take a shower in a nice, clean, fresh shower. Toilet tanks. Sometimes you buy a 20-year-old house and you're showing your guests the bathroom and the toilet looks like it's been sitting there for 20, 30, 40 years. No one wants to think about what's going on in there. So an inexpensive fix is a new toilet tank from Bunnings. Sometimes you can get them installed for as little as $150. Carpets. Now carpets are a big one. Recarpeting a four bedroom house is not that expensive. I've seen it done for as little as $1,200. When buyers go to open houses and the carpet is stained or nasty or really old, you know, plush pile style, sometimes they think, oh man, it's going to cost me $10,000 to recarpet this house. Now we know it's not that expensive, but buyers don't because often they've never owned a house before. So if we just make it easy for them by providing a new inexpensive carpet, which smells like new carpet, they walk right in, they see brand new carpeting in the rooms, they think fabulous, they've really maintained this house well. Now, the ultimate thing you can do to prepare your house for sale is staging. This one can be a little bit more expensive, sometimes as little as $500, up to about $2,000. Now, why do we stage? Because the person who is going to be designing the furniture layout and setup for your house is the ultimate professional in doing this. She's done over 250 houses in Kim Wilson's case. She's the person that I work with and her houses consistently are amazing. I know it sounds like a lot of money, $1,500 to $2,000 to stage, but on the back end, the houses that I've staged in the last year have attained 10,000, 20,000, even up to $30,000 more than nearby houses which have sold that haven't been professionally staged. If you'd like to see some examples of rooms that have been set up normally and staged, just click on my website. We've got some fabulous examples of what that looks like. Buyers walk in and it's more than just bricks and mortar when you're selling a house. It's imagination, it's feeling, it's lifestyle. The way that a professional stage, stager sets it up it just sells the home better than almost anything else you can do. 
So those are my quick and simple tips for how to sell your house for lots more money. If you have any real estate questions and you'd like me to make a video on them, simply drop a comment in the box below or contact me via any of the methods on the website. This is Rob Levy from Remax Excellence. Thank you so much.